This is Yorvan, proud and mighty, shaped and hewn by Fey of old. If you hear us, then we are sleeping still. But be strong of heart, new one. Our powers are old, but our triumphs are eternal. We have brought peace to the Webwood and the forests of summer. Corruption and decay and filth were grown, were spread like sickness from the fens and dells of this place. They were led not by a beast, not by a fell one, but by her, the one who walks alone, the mother of a hundred thousand spiders. She is a queen of web and poison. She calls herself the Widow.
Canopy stretched far and blocked the light of summer. But we pressed on and forward to Cathras, to the widow's den. We were but weak when we arrived, but she was weaker still, her children having died before our march. To Ashara we commended her, and then we felt the call of winter, and so some turned to sleep, and I kept watch. <laughs> Some colder wind of winter blows then, we have seen. Summer does not return our brothers, our clans to us. What will happen to the vigil I keep? Winter already calls me, and no relief is in sight. Widow walks. I can feel the heart of the webwood pulsing with her anger. Her spiders are at the gates. We never thought this day would come. The widow walks. The widow walks. Is that someone tripping about my web? And I thought my fun was over.
Another stirs in Yolven? But it is only a wretched mortal from that doomed town, no doubt. I'm sure my Cathras brood would love feeding on one as strong as you. The last of Yolven is dead. Your little town is next. Tell them the widow has returned and she is claiming what was once hers.
forest you call Dalantarth was ruled by Issa. The God King fostered communion, a sharing. The mortals heeded his wisdom. The Fae followed his spirit. He linked the natural with the divine and became a nature unto himself. He knew the lives of elf, human, gnome, and all people. He showed the Fae these words and ways. He united the Oath clans. As the meadow grows into woodland, so did Issa grow the court of summer.
सकता है By the seas, you sure took the long route to Castle Yolven. Now tell me, have you found their secret? Can you stop the spiders? The widow is... I don't know. I fought in wars, I've, I've fought in duels, in bars, but never against something I couldn't beat. Never against something like her. We can't defend the town at this rate, and we don't have the time to destroy the bridges leading to the Webwood. I doubt that would work in any case. I'm going to take the survivors and barricade the inn. We'll stand a better chance of survival if we do. The widow is sending the whole damn forest at us. I'm going to stay and defend the townsfolk. I need you to go in there and try to stop this. I didn't want to think the stories were true, but I've seen her hand in this since it began. It's only a matter of hours before Kenarok is destroyed. But Cathros is deep within the Webwood. I wouldn't be surprised if the Hollow is where she makes her home. I had hoped for an army to assist Kenarok. You're all I have. Don't know if it's fate or luck, but there's no time. The others and I will take refuge in the inn. We need to help the survivors.
There's a lot I need to do, stranger, so if you've come on business, you should make it quick. The forge is hot if you need to use it, and I have a few items I can spare, but we'll need them soon enough, I'm sure. The man's a fighter, sure, but he's not been in Canarok too long. He doesn't know us that well, and we don't know him either. Just about the only damn thing that keeps the town from falling to pieces. Literally, it's a blacksmith's job. Mm, don't let my mother hear you. You'll have a mouth full of salt and your hands full of cold iron before you can reach the door. <laughs> All my life it was just a tale the old ones would talk of when night fires were nearly out. But it's... Well, it's becoming real. The widow is real. I can't say I know much about it besides the stories I heard when I was a boy. I spend most of my time in town as the handyman. But it's almost as if the stories are now true. It's like the witch has come back. I'd be happy to fix up old Gossamer End for you. That place could use some expansion. I can put in a dining area for some gold. What do you say? It will be ready in no time. Let me know if you want any further expansion. Well, it sure would be useful to have an alchemy workbench. I can add a room with one for some gold. The alchemy workbench should come in handy in these neck of the woods. The main floor has been expanded as much as possible, but I can squeeze in an attic for some gold. You'll be amazed when you see that attic. Well, I'll have to watch out for the riverbed, but I can add on a basement for some gold. I'll go ahead and set up the basement with some plants and reagents. You'll love it. If you're interested in more storage space, I can expand your basement for some gold. Be careful when you go in there. Somehow a spider got in when I was doing the last upgrade. I can do one last expansion of the basement, give you more space for the plants down there, for some gold. This will be the last upgrade I can give you. I hope you like everything I've done. Stay alert. What is it? Is something wrong? No. Ah, my assistant has returned. What do you need of me?
May the stone sing your song to the ages. May the breath of time remember you. Listen, listen as the echo stone etches each ballad in memory. Hail, we sing of Meropus, last of the waterborne isles now gone. Hail, we sing Meropus. Majesty our mantle, and courage our sign. Hail we sing Maracus, death to Ferrara, who wore but lies upon him. Death to the betrayer, whose lust beheld our glory. Death to he who took our beloved treasures, and hid them from our eyes. 
May the treasures of Meropus outlast them. When mountains fall and seas rise up, when all the courts have fallen. You there? Did the war sworn send you? It's about damn time. I've been rotting in this forest for near a week and Jory's dead. The trolls are much worse than we thought. We thought rock trolls were bad enough, but these are mountain trolls, twice as strong and very ill-tempered. Foul brutes. Unbelievably strong. Twice as strong as everyday rock trolls. And now they've come to Haxi. When you come across any, try to get in close. The belly is where they're tender. Slip a blade or two in there and they won't be on their feet for long. We came through training together. No one could outdrink jewelry. One time, I remember he actually managed to... You know what? It doesn't matter. Bastard's dead. Hell of a time we had, though. He was one of the good uns. Sworn to war we are. Swords for hire. Not a bad way to make a living if you know which end of a blade to hold. Oh, excellent. Look, we meant to take care of this situation, but things got out of my control. One of the mountain trolls killed Jewelry. 
Anyhow, I'm glad someone arrived at last. The mountain trolls must be stopped. The one that got jewelry is still at the camp we made out here. If you can take care of this, I'll be able to retrieve Jory's belongings from the camp. I promise you what's left of his sword is reward. All of them. I think there are five wandering the surface, including one at our makeshift camp. The contract was to clear the forest. Do that and I'll be able to return home with honor. Farewell. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
of two valiant souls I bring. Of the lords named Ermer and Kreth I sing. Two hearts united against common foes. The thoughts in mind of one the other knows. Lord Kreth of Fey Knights most stoic and grave. Lord Ermer's night hand and shadow the brave. And genteel Ermer, his equal in might, the dawn to Kreth's dusk, the day to his night. Here is the tale of how they stopped a troll. The maid of Windermere misled its soul. <laughs> its difference from the norm and wished to shed its current form. In grief it went to the maid Windermere. She motioned to Nyx and beckoned him nearer. It is your wish to be human, I see, she whispered to the troubled troll in glee. I shall grant you your wish and make you so. You are a human now, she Go. Oh, <laughs> 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 
tracking you for some time. Enadon keeps you strong, but I am stronger. Delph and Ugnar will perish. Two lives for one. It is the blood rite, and I will be free of it at last. Give me Delph's dagger, and you may find mercy in Enadon. True, but I know him. And he will not rest until one of us is satisfied the blood right. 
Two must die so one will live. I intend to be the one to live. Gold has its uses. If Red Edward believes me dead, then I am truly free. Take the dagger. I pray it brings you better fortune than it brought me. Good luck with Red. We may have made a bargain, but this land is mine. I prowl its shadows to prey on the weak. You'd be wise to stay out of my way. I earned this name during my years with the Red Legion. Later, Enidon instructed me to keep it so I might strike swiftly from the shadows. She is the dark arm of justice. The Watcher who punishes the guilty and rewards the vigilant. All gods must follow her code, as must all men. My skill with the blade could only have been learned through service. I did not discriminate. Men, women, children, all in the name of the Red. Yet it was not enough. Justice needed to be served, and I could not satisfy Enidon's desires, encumbered by the Red Legion. So I chose my own path. Good luck with Red. it came, never suspecting it was still the same. It crushed the road and split into the wall, and Kreth and Aermer were surely to fall. They faced the troll and fought to no avail. The wise knights knew what was wrong in our tale. The treacherous made Windermere at play, 
we know in part what is wrong with this fay. And so, Lord Ermer shouted to Lord Cref, challenge this troll to a duel to the death. I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time, friend. The famed hospitality of the gnomes may be missing today. You see, I am in distress. I lent my journal to a fellow surveyor to record information from the Split Rock depths. His name is Horace Despero. He ventured into the caves but never returned. Most often, you'll find we're a great source of help and advice in just about any area, from irrigation techniques to healing. The gnomes are some of the brightest, most creative minds around. Wherever there's a problem, we'll find the solution. We give so much, and ask for so little in return. I've heard tales of a malevolent spirit that was trapped within the cavern decades ago. Those who venture in are said never to be seen again. I'm with an outfit known as Motus Mining. We mostly operate out of the tier but I'm in Dalantarth surveying the forest for new loads to work. Motus is a large gnomish mining company to the east. It profits by selling the resources that it mines. Surveyors like me, who work for Motus, go out into the field and record any pertinent day-to-day -day find. A fellow surveyor from the mining company back east. He went into Split Rock Depths with my journal to record new findings, and hasn't been back since. No. I am worried about him, and I must admit, my journal as well. It may sound selfish, but the journals we surveyors keep are very important to our work. If possible, I need to find out what became of my friend. And the journal, too. I'm a surveyor from a mining company from the east. The journal contains all the data I've gathered from my exploration of the area. I lent it to Horus so that he could add data he gathered from Split Rock Depths. Since he hasn't returned, I'm worried something terrible might have happened down there. If you can find out what happened, I would like to know. It should be somewhere in Split Rock Depths. As I said, Horus may be trapped down there also. Please, find out what became of him and bring the journal back to me. Goodbye.
something wrong? Ah, my assistant has returned. What do you need of me? I trust his spear, and I trust his judgment. This is a war, or something like it. Barton's the only one with the experience for this. Good day. Have a moment I can spare for you. Stay safe. Ah, my assistant has returned.
What do you need of me? Yes. <laughs> 